Hi everyone, another tutorial. This time we are going to deal with Adobe Animate. I'm using Adobe Animate 2020. So click on File. You can create from a new template or create a new one for yourself. You can see a couple of presets here. So this is the frame rate. The higher the frame rate, the smoother the animation is. This is the program environment. You can see the tools from here. You can expand for more tools. Click on the tool to be included on your toolbox. By the time you're going to point on each tool, you will see a couple of description as well as the shortcut key of that tool. In here, you will find the properties bar. So each tool has its own property. Under the properties bar, you can also see this area right here. This is where you can change or navigate for the different colors that you can place on your animation object. We also have the alignment area. We have the library. We have the presets or the assets. These are pre-made animations for you to use. This is the timeline. This is the most important part or area of uh, the program environment. So let's try to create a simple animation. So I have just clicked the oval tool and I'm going to change the fill to something like gray and the stroke to something like maybe red will do. Click and drag. I'm going to use the selection tool. You can select the edge or the sides and press delete if you want to remove it. You can even highlight the area of the circle and press delete if you want to trim it. If you wish to move the object, same thing as how the mouse goes. So these are the frames, okay? So one frame is equivalent to one animation or one movement. So as you can see in here, I have just removed the object. Now I'm putting it back, then it's back also. So again, each frame is one movement. So if you wish to add a new frame, you can right click and click on convert to keyframe or insert keyframe. I prefer using F6 to insert or convert a keyframe. Press F6 and automatically it will create a new keyframe. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to move the object while I'm creating a new keyframe. So that it will have some sort of an animated effect. Click on the looping area, expand the looping area, this is where the animation will go. Click play and you have just successfully created your first animation. So that is frame by frame animation. This time we are going to create a different type of animation. This is the motion tweening animation. I'm going to use a rectangle tool so I'm going to create a square click on the side I wish to change the thickness of the stroke to something like this using the properties bar I can resize it place it in here this time I'm not going to create or insert a new keyframe but instead I'm going to click on frame number 60 and press F6 so I under frame number 60 I'm going to move the mouse or the object to the other area. So instead of creating multiple frames in here, what I'm going to do is just right click on the middle, click on create classic tween. Click OK. And we have just created a smoother animation with less effort. This is called motion tweening. Let's try to loop it, expand the looping area, then play. It's kind of smoother compared to the other one that we have just created a while ago. Now let's try to re repeat the steps. This time we are going to drag this one upwards. Same thing, right click, right class tween. There you go. Now we have another option in here. Um, let me create 
another movement in this area there this one is called onion skin see the onion skin is like a guide effect so it gives you a guide on the path of your object which is animating so that if ever you wish to know where your object is going then definitely you still have the guide so i'm going to continue with the steps there you go same thing This time I'm going to insert another keyframe here and place it on the beginning where I started. Then let's try to play this one. Then that's it. We have just created a 4 frame motion tweening animation. If you wish to save the file, first you need to save it as an Adobe Animate file. So make sure that if you wish to edit this one in the future, you can still edit it. Then click on file, click on export. If you, win, you want to export it as a movie, then you can. Or you can export it as animated GIF. If you wish to post it in social media or any other platform. I can preview this one and a browser window will appear. So once you're satisfied with it, click on save, then save it again. There you go. That's motion tweening animation. This time we're going to create another one. Here's another basic. It is called a motion path animation. So why is it called a motion path? Because it's going to follow a certain path. I'm going to change the name of this layer to something like car. I'm going to import a car I have just downloaded a while ago. This car has a transparent background. It's a PNG file. We can resize this one, place it in here. Same thing, same steps. We are going to use the motion tweening animation. If you think the tutorial is quite fast, you can always pause it and replay it. So again, this is the classic tween animation. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to right click on the car's layer. Click on add classic motion guide. This is where we are going to draw the path from which the car is going to follow. So I'm going to use the pen tool. If you can't find the pen tool, I, I just place it from here. I just got it from there, I mean. So I'm going to draw some sort of a path. Okay, that, that's it. Then I'm going to move the car or snap it on the edge most part or the edge point of each of the path, the beginning and the end. Now it's following the path, however, we need to change the effect. So it's like when the car climbs up, definitely it's going to rotate a little bit upwards or it's going to tilt itself. So I'm going to insert a new keyframe here, press F6. Then rotate. There you go. So as you can see, it's it has a better effect now compared to what it's doing a while ago. Same thing with that one. Continue with the steps. Again, if you think the tutorial is quite fast, of course you can always pause it. You can replay it and rewatch it. So there you go. We have just created a motion path. You can click on the eye area in here if you, you wish to remove the path or the guide. That's it. Now let's try the asset. We need to create a new layer for this one. Click on the assets. Click and drag or click here. There you go. So I'm going to use this one, the pig and parachute. I'm just trying to show you guys or provide a demonstration on how assets work. Right click, same thing, create classic tween. 
that's it that is how you're going to use adobe animate this is the basics this is the beginner's guide for adobe animate thank you so much for watching and bye for now